Is AI the genius that we think it is, or are we missing a glaring flaw that turns brilliance into blunders? After years watching Tech Evolve, I'm struck by how these models can dazzle with PhD level insights, yet stumble over some of the basic logic that a toddler can handle. So can we really trust tools that nail complex predictions, but miss the simplest whys behind them? So let's dive into this today and unpack the wild contradiction that is these modern AI systems. Let's go for this. Now, I want to go to some images here that I have from Karpusky's uh, speech that he gave recently. And this is, a, I think, a really, really good set of discussion on some of this. So he talked about how, and, and if you don't know, Andre Karpusky is one of the top minds in AI. He started OpenAI, then went to Tesla, where he ran their FSD department and really built out a lot of really fascinating things. He built the whole neural net that's trained FSD. Then, which I, in my opinion, is one of the closest things we actually have to true AI today. He then went back to OpenAI for a short stint and then has gone on to do some of his own things. He recently just spoke at Y Combinator, and these are where these slides came from. Now, he talked about how AI has encyclopedic knowledge or memory, and he gave the example of Rain Man, right? For those who have seen this movie, you know, Dustin Hoffman's character could remember some absolutely astounding facts, and it could respond to him just as quick as anything. And he lit the, toast, or lit the house on fire, I think, trying to make toast. And, you know, Tom Cruise teaches him how to drive around a circle and he got really good at driving a circle, but then like, and, you know, ended up crashing the car as soon as he did something outside of the circle. And that's kind of what we're looking at. This is like Rain Man uh, type knowledge where it's this crazy encyclopedic knowledge, but you can't tell it how to go buy a candy store at the corner store. It then talks about this jagged intelligence, right? Where it gives some examples and these are, you know, some famous ones where it says that 9.11 is bigger than 9.9 simply because it doesn't have the mathematical understanding, right? So this is this example of jagged intelligence, right? And you can see even on the chalkboard in the back, the two plus two equals five, right? Um, another one is this antograde amnesia. And if you've ever been working with it, like AI will be amazing and incredible and it'll be working and it'll be remembering what you did. And then all of a sudden it'll just forget. Or, um, you know, it'll, it has no concept of like sleep and then being able to come back to something, right? So it can remember these crazy things, but it can't remember the last command you gave it, right? It can pull up knowledge from the 1600s and yet it can't remember two prompts before, right? So this is kind of the, some of the antigrid amnesia effects that we're talking about. The next one is it's horribly gullible, right? You can get the prompts to do anything. And we're seeing a lot of this with AI agents right now where you can get them to do things that they simply should not do because it's very gullible because the whole premise of these is it wants to do pattern matching to try to match what you're wanting to get back. So this is kind of this lossy simulation that he talks about uh, that, that talks about some of these things that is providing that, you know, there's a lot of things we still need to grow with AI. And these are the things that I'm talking about today, right? So a nature study showed that ChatGPT helped folks craft new ideas for gifts, toys, and it outpaced Google search by far. It shines at mixing concepts into clever incremental innovations backed by solid mediation or models. But when it comes to wild out of the box leaps, it totally stalled leaning on old patterns instead. So let me rephrase this, right? What it does is it can do these really interesting pattern matches where it gets near something and makes one or two degree change just something slightly different. This is part of the reason why it does decent at coding, right? Is because it can take old patterns and try to put them together into new code. But if you actually want to do something completely new and out of the out of the wild, it definitely can't handle this. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We 
don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.